Hey guys, it's Runa. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dawn of a New Era. For anybody that doesn't know, The Dawn of a New Era is a fully automatic free Yu-Gi-Oh! online game. And to download a game, go to www.tdoane.com or www.ygopro.org. And the links will be posted in the video description. So once on the website, you click the downloads button and select one of the download links and in this case I'm using devhost so a new page will open up and you just hit download in case you don't have adblock plus make sure to click this download button because the other ones are just going to be random ads to install this game you need either winrar or 7zip both are free and if you don't already have them we have the links in the description for you after the file is finished downloading right click on it and select extract here if you have WinWar and if you have 7-zip select 7-zip extract here. The game will now start to extract and this usually takes a couple of minutes. After the game is extracted a folder called Wigo Pro Dawn of a New Era will appear. This folder contains the game and you can copy it wherever you want and even put it on a USB drive. Inside the folder, you'll find a couple of files, but the one you always want to use to open the game is Wigo Pro Dawn of an Era Launcher Pro. So double click on this, and the launcher should open. But if it doesn't open, that means you're missing Net Framework 4. We'll post the download link in the description for you. If you have problems with anything so far, or it just doesn't work even after installing the program, then please post on our forum, www.wigogen.com. Once the launcher opens up, the first thing you want to do is register a new account. Click register and enter your desired username, password, and then repeat the password. For referral, you can enter Runa, or you can just leave it blank. Hit register and a message should come up saying that you're ready to log in and play. Now enter your username and password and select that you agree to the terms of service and click login. You can also use the skip login function, but I wouldn't recommend this because a lot of the features are disabled in this mode. After you log in, this new page will appear and you will see the main functions like chat, dueling, deck construction, and so on. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a deck and duel. In the next one, I'll show you all the other features like teams, rankings, tournaments, and so on. To begin, click decks, select deck construction, and click OK. In this new window, you can press new search to see all the cards. Just so you know, your main deck needs to have at least 40 cards. There's a lot of different filters you can use to make searching for cards easier, or you can just put the card name if you know exactly what you're looking for. The game has all cards currently released in both TCG and OCG, as well as some of the anime only cards, but new cards will be added as they are announced. After you finish adding your cards in your deck, you can just uh, enter the deck name and then click save as. And now you can just exit this window. So to duel against other players, you can click duel and then this new window will give you a list of games that you can join. And green means a single duel, blue means a match duel, orange means a tag duel, and then red means it has special rules like more cards per draw. And to join a duel, you need to just click on the duel on the list, and then click join. But, if you want to host your own game, then click the host button. A new window comes up, and that has all the settings, and you can select what you want to use, or you can just leave it as default, and then enter a game name. Then you gotta click on host, and then the game will open up. Then you select the deck you want to use, and then click ready, and once an opponent joins, you need to click ready again so that the duel can start. But for now, let's exit this because I want to show you guys how to play single player. And on the launcher window, if you click chat, you can look at uh, other players' profiles, you can talk to them, you can challenge them to rank games, but we'll go over that in the next tutorial because I want to show you guys how to duel against our bot Jarvis. And to do this, you need to double click on Jarvis in the user list. And then click AI Duel. And then you can select what deck you want Jarvis to use. And then click Duel. And then in a new window, you can select what deck you want to use. And then select the little check mark because that means you're ready. 
so then the duel starts. Um, if you get a warning, that means you have a banned card in your deck. And in this case, you can just go to the deck construction and then just remove that card. But after the duel starts, you're going to get asked to select rock, paper, or scissors. And if you win, you get to select who goes first. When the game begins and it's your turn, click on the monster you want to summon and then select normal or special summon. But remember, you can only use normal summon once per turn. And if you want to play a spell or a trap card, just click on the card and then click either set or active. And to attack, you select battle phase, and if you just want to end your turn, you just click end phase. At the end of the duel, you can select save to watch it later too. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to change the background image, the card images, as well as the sounds, and I'm also going to show you how to make or join teams. There are also options that will allow you to change player colors in the chat, and there's a lot of other little features too. And that's the end of this video, so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.